to the flexors of the carpal joints and digits. Musculus flexor carpi radialis, which originates on the epicondylus medialis humeri and terminates on to the tuberositis osseus metacarpi 3, but 2 and 3 in carnivores, and its function is to flex the carpal joints. We have the musculus flexor carpi ulnaris, caput humerale, which originates on the epicondylus medialis humeri. And then we have the musculus flexor carpi ulnaris caput ulnare, which originates on the olecranon ulnare. They both terminate onto the os carpi assessorum. And they function to flex the carpal joints. Then we have the musculus flexor digitalis superficialis, which separates into two parts. We have the portio superficialis and the portio profunda. They terminate on the middle phalanx. And they function to flex the two proximal phalangeal joints. We have the musculus flexor digitalis profundus. First of all, we have the caput radiale, which originates on the middle of the radius. Then we have the caput humorale, which originates on the epicondylus medialis humeri. And finally, we have the caput ulnare, which originates on the olecranon. They all terminate on the distal phalanx, and they function to flex all phalangeal joints and fix the fetlock joints.